Gerald Asurin, the former GPNP, you have the floor. To the chairperson of the uh, Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, Senator Ronald Batul de la Rosa and the other members of this August body. Other guests, isang maganda at mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. I stand here before the Senate Committee, Mr. President, in response to the invitation of the Senate Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs under the stern chairmanship of Senator Ronald de la Rosa. On October 8, 2022, the operatives of the PNP Drug Enforcement Group conducted a bypass operation that led to the arrest of Ney S. Atadero and Police Master Sergeant Rodolfo B. Mayo of Wealth and Personal Development Lending Incorporated, or the WPD Lending, located at number 1742 Jose Acabad Santos Street, Barangay 252 in Tondo, Manila. The operation also led to the discovery and subsequent confiscation of 990 kilos of dangerous drugs. Knowing in good faith that our PNP personnel conducted legitimate anti-drug operations, the PNP duly reported the successful drug bus to the public as well as Interior and Local Government Secretary Benhar Abalos Jr. If I may repress the minds of this August body, the PNP then under my leadership along with Secretary Abalos, PDEG Chief General Narciso Domingo, and top officials presented this accomplishment to the media on October 9, a Sunday afternoon. The same day then, Senator Laila de Lima was taken hostage at the PNP Custodial Center in Camp Crame. During the press conference at Camp Crame, I, re I reiterated my stand that we will not tolerate any wrongdoing of our policeman under my watch and under the watch of our DILG secretary. No less than Secretary Abalos also described the accomplishment as possibly the biggest drug haul in the history of the country. Unfortunately, the PNP's morale was dampened after there were reports of irregularities in the conduct of police operations and the investigation by the PNP Drug Enforcement Group. This prompted the creation of the Special Investigation Task Group 990 on October 17, 2022, through the recommendation of then Director PIDEG, Police Brigadier General Narciso Domingo. The findings indicated that some members of the SOU4A and IFLD personnel may have committed lapses when they failed to follow standard procedures as regards to by bus operations. On the issues surrounding the 42 kilograms of Shabu, the PNP's aggressive follow-up operations caused massive pressure for those involved to abandon the pilfered contraband in front of PSMBFI on October 15, 2022. Based on forensic investigation, there was a big probability that the drug seized in front of PSMBFI came from the large cache of Shabu seized at WPD lending on October 8, 2022. It also showed that the SOU4A and IFLD personnel failed to faithfully account all the seized shabu at WPD lending. The SITG came out with the conclusion that the overt acts of the PCOs and PNCOs clearly manifest irregularities and misconduct. The acts were done for their own personal gain and interest. Contrary to reports of a cover-up, Criminal charges were filed against Police Master Sergeant Mayo and Ney Atadero for violation of Section 92 of Republic Act 9165. SOU4A personnel of the PDEG clearly violated laws, especially on the issues of bungling in the prosecution of the drug cases. It should also be noted that the SITG 990 has ordered the filing of appropriate administrative and criminal charges against the 49 PNP personnel in relation to, the, to this case. It should also be noteworthy to report to this body that the PNP through the confiscation of the 990 kilos and recovery of 42 kilos of Shabu, including the arrest of Police Master Sergeant Rodolfo Mayo and Ney Atadero, has identified a number of police officers linked to illegal drugs. This included two generals and two 
school colonels who are now subject of an inquiry a few weeks ago. I am also happy to report that the PNP's scrutiny of the background of 953 third rank third level rank police officers done in compliance with Secretary Abalos' call for us to file courtesy resignation provided the organization a big lead on the number of police officers dipping their fingers on illegal drugs. And for the record, Mr. Chairman, it was I who personally recommended to the President for the submission of the courtesy resignation of the 953 third level police officers to determine their suitability if they can still pursue their police careers as they climb up the ladder of the echelon of the PNP hierarchy. Before I finish my statement, I'd like to state that I am one with the current PNP leadership under Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. to cleanse the police ranks of misfits and iskalawags. And I hope we don't lose sight on the fight against the drug syndicates whose tentacles have reached the high echelons of society and the different bureaucracies. At the PNP, we have to move forward and put a stop in allowing the drug syndicates to destroy the organization. I believe Police General Accorda here is up to the job. With the support of the 228,000 strong PNP, and the entire Filipino people. Now let me provide the committee with some of the observations of the PNP advisory group. That every PNP personnel should never be involved in the use, possession, manufacture, trade, or sell of any illegal drugs, which must be the basic principle to be observed by all law enforcement agencies. That there is an exigency to thoroughly review, assess, evaluate, and revise existing policies and operational rules of the PNP dealing in the conduct of arrests, searches and seizures, preservation of crime scenes, and the chain of custody in the drug cases handled by the PNP. That PNP operating teams and or units in drug cases must ensure the validity of police operations including but not limited to the proper arrests, gathering and preservation of evidences, and make sure the evidences are admissible in courts that would lead to the successful prosecution of cases in court. That the PNP advisory group further recommended the integration of a group of prosecutors with a nationwide mandate to help the PNP in the fight against illegal drugs. They shall provide legal guidance in the conduct of anti-illegal drug operation against high-value targets. They shall perform their duties in collaboration with the Department of Justice, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, National Bureau of Investigation, and other law enforcement agencies. So far, the following are the facts with the ongoing investigation. The 990 kilos as well as the 42 kilos of shabu worth 7, 7 billion were accounted, confiscated, and destroyed. Police Master Sergeant Rodolfo B. Mayo and Ney S. Atadero were arrested and are now facing various criminal charges. Mayo was dismissed from the police service too. Several PCOs and PNCOs involved in the operation were recommended by SITG 990 to be charged criminally and administratively for various offenses. All will have the respective day to defend themselves. The SITG 990 as well as the result, the evaluation and assessment of the five-man advisory group were able to unmask the PNP syndicates involved in the illegal drug trade, which had been destroying the PNP organization as an institution. At least four third-level PNP officers, two police brigadier general and two police colonel were recommended to Napolcom for filing of administrative cases without prejudice to the filing of appropriate criminal cases against them. The operation that led to the confiscation of 990 kilograms of shabu was a clear indication that illegal drug trade 
the illegal drug operation did not stop. It proliferated despite efforts made by the past administration. Why? Because some of the very people who are supposed to stop the drug cartel became accomplices. And for the record, Mr. Chairman, let me also reiterate the statement of police, Lieutenant Colonel Glenn Gonzalez, in one of his appearances in the hearings, that he specifically stated that Police Lieutenant General Benjamin Santos Jr. clearly directed them to do what is right during the course of the inventory at the WPD Lending Corporation. During our investigation, the PNP Advisory Group and must integrate, integrate drug links of some members of the past and present personnel. And your honors, I believe this is just the tip of the iceberg. We've started the purge. Let us be united in this fight for the good, not just of today's generation, but the future ones. Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, I am ready to answer your questions. Magandang umaga po.